Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Gears 12 here, and today I'm talking about the new album from David Draymond, his new band, Device, and the album is entitled Device. Sorry if I said his last name wrong. But anyways, guys, so let's talk about this album, because this album, there's a lot of information and there's a lot of stuff I need to talk about, and I'm going to try to get through it as much as I can in little time as possible, because I don't want to bore you with like a 15 to 20 minute long review. So the first thing I do want to talk about is that this is not disturbed, okay? There's people online that I've I've read and people have said this. Uh, personal friends of mine have said, oh, I can't wait to hear this stuff. I hope it's, like, disturbed. This is not disturbed material, okay? I can personally see some material on this album. Maybe Disturbed would write it. Maybe Disturbed could play it. I mean, obviously they can play it if they want to. But it's not disturbed, okay? And I'm glad that David Draymond went down this route and went like, okay, let's just, I'm going to do something a little bit different. It's still metal, yes, but it's industrial metal. And you get that through the whole entire album. And it's kind of a different thing, but still, his vocal style is not different. It's not like a new style because he's doing a new style of metal and he's trying to, you know, branch out from Disturbed. No, that's not the case at all. But the, the music quality is industrial metal, so he tried to switch it up a little bit. So, uh, first thing I do want to talk about, and I usually don't talk about this first off, is the sound of the band, and then we'll get to uh, some of the collaborations which are on the album, which is a big thing, and uh, yeah, because there's a lot of stuff I do want to talk about musically on this album, but I want to get to the sound of the band first. So, David Draymond, hope I'm saying his name right, and if I'm not, then uh, you guys can hate me, but uh, I'm already saying, hope I'm saying his name right. <laughs> but anyways, so David, as we all know from Disturbed, his vocal style is very unique. He has this really unique style that he likes to bring. He likes to do these, um, you know, he goes high up in his register, and he's known for the vocals. Like, you can, like automatically, you can hear him go, oh, I know who that is. Exactly. His vocals are not, like, related to anybody else's. He has his own style, and I just love his vocals. It's very unique, and it stands out, like I said before. But anyways, yes, his vocals are extremely well done on this album. He has a lot of great lyric lines, and I just enjoy what he brought to this album, lyrically and, um, you know, voice, vocal-wise. I just enjoy all the, the both sides of it, what he did. Very, very good stuff. Now, the only other person they have said who is as device is Gino Leonardo. Hoping I'm saying his name right, probably not. But Gino, hoping I'm saying his name right, is guitar. They haven't listed a bass player or a drummer on my uh, source so uh, if they have listed it, I'm sorry if I find it, it'll be in the description along with the track listing. But uh, that's kind of interesting because if if I'm right, then the bass player and drummer was a studio. I'm not really sure, but they have announced, and I'm not going to go look at it right now, but they have announced touring members that are going to be playing along with them uh, when they go play live because they, they need you know more people. Instead of a focus on a guitar, it doesn't work. But um, yeah, so I, the guitar-wise, I would say... It's very heavy. The tone is very heavy, and uh, I'm pretty sure that they're not playing an E standard on the guitar tuning. But it's a very heavy tone, and I don't know. I'm I'm just like I'm used to hearing that kind of tone before from heavier bands, so it wasn't surprising. It's not the type of tone of guitar you would hear from Disturbed. So that's another thing is it's not Disturbed. Don't go into it and thinking it is. So um, yeah, and then uh, the sound of the bass. The bass is uh, not really turned up a lot, except for the track with Geezer Butler on bass, which I'll get to that in a minute. But the bass is not really that audible that much. Maybe the guitars are standing out along with David's vocals. Uh, the drumming sounds not exactly what you hear from um, Disturbed, but basically the drumming you'd hear from industrial metal bands, stuff like that. But the drums, they're kind of... There's not a lot. There's not not a lot coming from the drummer. It's more of just David's the uh, the forefront uh, on the tracks that there's no collaborations. He is the forefront. He's the main thing here. So the drums are not really trying to show off too much. So I really didn't. Um, not, there's not. I'm not really praising the drummer that well. It's just um, the drummer just didn't do a lot of stuff on here. So let's get to the collaborations, which is a big part of this album, and I really, really need to talk about this, and in the full, and not, I'm not going to go through each, each track, but I'm going to talk about the collaborations, so Lizzie Hale, hoping I'm saying her name right, did vocals on Close My Eyes Forever, which is a cover from uh, Lita Ford and Ozzy Osbourne, and I think the cover was done very well, it was really, really a good cover, it's the only cover on the album, but I really enjoyed the uh, duets that uh, both David and Lizzie, hoping I'm saying her name right, uh, both did, it was very, very well done, I actually enjoyed that song. It's one of my personal favorites on the track. Not my not my favorite, but 
One of my personal favorites. Very, very well done. M Shadows, yes, the vocalist from Vincent Sevenfold on the ninth track, the second to last track, entitled Haze. A lot of people hate Vincent Sevenfold. A lot of people just like to hate on him because, oh, they're posers, blah, 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 whatever uh, idiots want to say, I guess. But it is what it is. People just hate the band. Uh, I personally don't hate them. I just don't like some of their music. But I think we can all agree that M Shadows has a great vocal style. He has a great voice. And him and uh, David, once again did very good on this uh, track and uh, his vocals very very well done on this album Glenn Hughes on the final track which is kind of interesting because usually final tracks on albums don't feature any guests if there are guests on the album but it features a guest Glenn Hughes on through it all the final track which I think Glenn was his vocals were very well done and I just love what he brought to the table with this track it made it feel different because I felt like if David would have did the song by himself it would have had a different feel because his vocals are not really for like songs that are kind of slow in this matter, uh, at least for the beginning, but Glenn really made it feel like a different type of song, so I enjoyed what happened there. Um, this is interesting. Surge and Geezer Butler on one track uh, featuring called Out of the Line, which is the fifth track, my personal favorite track. I think it's because a mixture of the song is really catchy, but at the same time, Surge adds another element to David's vocals. Because David's vocals, like I said, are very good. But Surge, I've always loved Surge. It's of a down. His vocals are very unique, like David's is in Disturbed. Very unique. It's it's so easy to figure out who it is when he starts singing. And I love it. He's singing really high in the register. He's doing these really cool melody uh, vocal things with David. And Geezer Butler's playing bass. So I think the bass was turned up because Geezer Butler's playing. I'm like, yeah, you better turn up the bass. It's Geezer Butler. You better turn up the bass. And so Geezer did some really cool stuff that I really loved. You can actually hear the bass over instead of the rest of the tracks. But Geezer did a great job. Surge also did good as well. Tom Morello, his guitar playing on the song Opinion. He has a little guitar solo. It's not that long, but it's kind of there. And I really enjoyed it, but I, I really wish that his guitar solo would have went a little bit longer because he has a unique guitar playing style. And I just wish he would have been featured more on the track and his solo would have been a little bit longer. So that's the collaborations. As you can tell, I've enjoyed every collaboration that happened on this album, which were five tracks. Um, now let's get to the tracks that are not collaborations. The first three tracks are have no collaboration. Vilify, which is the third track, which was the single, is uh, the last track before we get to the fourth track, which is Close My Eyes Forever, the cover from uh, Lita Ford and Ozzy Osbourne. But like I said, the first three tracks have no collaboration. So you're hearing the band by themselves, no help whatsoever. And the thing is, with those three tracks, and then you skip on over hearing the, the two collaborations in the song Hunted and then War of Lies, all those, those five tracks are uh, original content with no collaboration. And the thing is, the songs that don't have collaborations, just them by themselves, musically, I think they could have went somewhere more. Because really, the musical high points, in my opinion, on these five tracks that have no collaborations, all new music from this band... The best to highlight musical moments are the chorus lines, because David has always had this unique, the, the, his unique vocal style to make choruses sound catchy, melodic, and you just want to sing along with it. And I do, but at the same time, musically, that's as that's as good as it's going to get, because the band, the guitar guitar wise, likes to play in the lower register of the guitar, the lower frets, lower heavy chords, and heavy, in heavy notes, single notes. But other than that. Like it just feels like the band just doesn't like to venture out and do something a little bit more higher up on the frets or write in a different key. It just sounds like they're always playing in the low standard of the guitar. Just keep playing low at the end. It's what it feels like to me. I really wish they would have did something more because on the songs that have collaborations, we have another vocalist or, for the instance of guitar playing, Tom Morello or bass player Geezer. We've always had. On the collaborations, there's something, there's a new element. There's something else besides David all the time. We have something else to add effect to that song or whatever the case may be with collaborations. But by themselves, it just sounds like they could have went somewhere. But I fairly enjoyed the songs that don't have collaborations, but I enjoyed the songs that had collaborations a little bit more. So, if you catch my drift. So, my whole thing is, I think there's something you can like from this album. Now, whether it's the songs that don't have collaborations, that's that's your opinion. But for me, if I had to pick what songs I want to listen to on this album, it'd be all the songs that have collaborations. And that's how it'd be. Don't know why, because they just there's something better, because the band by themselves just doesn't give me enough to where I'm going, 
yes, I want to hear this next song without nobody else. No, I'm going, ah, I want to hear another collaboration. So maybe, maybe they're just testing the waters, but what worked was the collaborations. What didn't work musically, they didn't really go anywhere else besides making the chorus sound melodic and letting David do go, go all over vocal-wise and make you go, oh, I got to sing along. It sounds good. <clears throat> so that's how it worked for me. So that's my review, guys. If I had to give a rating, I'd give it a, a 7.5 out of 10. The only reason why it's 7.5 and not higher is because musically the songs that didn't have collaborations didn't go anywhere. But the songs that had collaborations sounded so good. But that's what it is. Hopefully they'll uh, figure it out. Maybe they'll venture out more musically. But that's my review, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did enjoy the album, just not as much as I hope it would be. But to me, it's pretty decent. So that's my review, guys. If you like the review and you like me, like the video. And if you like me and you want to see more of my videos, you can go... Uh, check out my channel, click subscribe, or just check out my channel and see what I got and decide from there. I'll see you guys soon.